Welcome to the Outlet Podcast. My name is Gazy. I'm the host of the Outlet Podcast, and I invite you, please, to check out my content on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher Radio, uh, and Facebook and Twitter. That's those are my social pages. Go. Everything's going to be in the description below. It's in blue. You click it, and there you go. That's where I am uh, today for my vlogs. What I want to do for the uh, anime Cebu play segment of uh, my vlogs. There's a playlist called Anime Cebu Play on my uh, YouTube channel. I invite you to go check it out because I got a lot of stuff anime, manga, and conventions, cosplay, everything to like there. So please check out uh, check out that uh, playlist. It's one of my favorites. Um, I want to do. Uh, I want to talk about the MegaCon. Now, I never got the chance to actually talk uh, about Megacon because I was in it. Uh, if you've checked out some of my videos, um, I, I've been announcing that I was going to be a panelist for um, Our Dead S Destroying Anime uh, at Megacon uh, 2016 here in Orlando, Florida. And I had a great time. Um, what I, what I want to do is just yeah, like talk about talk about Megacon because I never got the chance, and everybody was have been posting their videos. Everyone's posting like cosplay videos, or like you know the people who are trying to be like the people who are trying to actually be like I don't know, I don't know why they do it. They record other cosplayers, and they get the hits. Like they'll film a cosplayer doing whatever pose or something like that, and. They'll hit, they'll get like, I don't know, they'll get a number of likes for that stuff. And like everybody went up and it has since been gone. I mean, that the convention was in March, uh, March, I think 26th through the 29th. Uh, yeah, I think 26th through the 29th or 27th through the uh, 29th, one of those two. Um, and yeah, like I never got a chance to talk. so. Um, let's just start off with by saying, I'll call these, uh, Megacon 2016 musings. And here's my first musing, that it was cosplay con. My opinion was that Megacon 2016 was cosplay con. Now, I've often shared my opinions when it comes to cosplay, and... I uh, invite you to check out my videos where I talk about cosplay, uh, uh, gender swap, and things like that. Uh, at this con this convention was full of it, uh, full of cosplayers. It was amazing, really, really cool. It's something that I actually really enjoyed. I um, I liked seeing just various different cosplays because it's not just. Uh, anime and manga that people cosplay. People like to do Ghostbusters or comic book heroes or cartoons. So yeah, um, me and my wife and my s older sister and my niece, we cosplayed as uh, the Fairly Odd Parents and Timmy Turner and Denzel Crocker. I'll put up those pictures if they're not up already. I'll put them up on my WordPress blog, outletpodcast.wordpress.com. That's in the link in the description. So you can find it there. Um, but anyways, it was cosplay con. Tons of cosplayers. And uh, so, I don't know. Um, you're always going to get the Deadpool variants. And you're always going to get the Harley Quinn variants. Uh, those weren't too bad this year. I mean, I was expecting a ton of Suicide Squad girl Harley Quinns. There weren't that many, if at all, any. There was probably just like three. And, um, you know, like it seemed that the girls who were doing that cosplay, it all they did was, you know, you know, dye, you know, dye their hair again if it wasn't already that color. Yeah, blue tip, red tip, shorts, and they had to hide the bat. Most girls, when they had the bat, it wasn't necessarily the actual they didn't do a great job at the bat and I don't blame them because uh, bats when you're talking about uh, designing or decorating or anything I don't know what the term would be but when you're doing bats something that's very outlandish here I'm 
gonna try to get more. Uh, ah, well, hopefully it shows up like clear. Um, when you're doing bats, uh, that was very difficult, and I feel bad for these girls because bats are made of wood. They're not. It's not cloth clothing. It's not materials. So I was like, oh man, these poor girls. I mean, they're trying their hardest. And you know, I applauded them. A lot of girls did great on their heels. The the heels, that was a really good, they did a good job for the heels. Um, the shirts too, they tried their best with the shirts. Um, some ventured into, the tat into doing the tattoos or fake tattoos. Other ones didn't. Uh, it's pretty brave if they did. The girls that did do the tattoos, they were pretty brave. Um, so yeah, uh, the girls did great. A lot of Deadpool variants, um, and I don't know, Deadpool, it seems of like the laziest costume cosplay that you can do, and just my personal opinion, it's it's lazy. Uh, not be It's not lazy because uh, like an, an original official Deadpool, uh, that's very tough to do. If you're trying to do Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool outfit, yeah, bro. Mad props. Congratulations. I applaud you. Great, great, great. But there are the Deadpool variants. The um, the sing the jumpsuit. The all you gotta do is just buy the jumpsuit. All you gotta do is just buy the mask, and you can be Deadpool slash uh, chunky guy in a Hawaiian shirt uh, eating uh, chimichanga. You could be Deadpool uh, basketball. All you got to do is just wear a basketball shirt and matching shorts and gym shoes and you can and just carry a basketball and a mask and your basketball Deadpool. It, it's really, that's why I, I kind of say it's the most unoriginal, very easy, but, um, you know, cosplay is fun and it's cool and it's really awesome to see great, uh, great cosplays. I saw a, a Boba Fett Rufio. Rufio, if you don't, if you don't know, uh, come on, Hook. What the greatest? My first, my personal opinion is that it's the greatest cosplay. It's the greatest uh, Robin Hood uh, or Peter Pan, Peter Pan movie uh, or rendition with Robin Williams as Peter Pan going back to Neverland. Man, that was just awesome. Looky, looky, I got hooky. Uh, uh, it's just great. Julie Roberts has a tiny. Uh, that's Tinkerbell, kind of funny, I guess. Um, but yeah, like that was an amazing cosplay. Just a lot of other amazing ones. There was a lot of, there was a couple of Kill La Kill, um, and that was crazy. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, it's it, it's it's one of those things where if I could, the g girls and guys, I don't blame. Like if you if you're if you have a natural if you have a good physique a great physique hard worked physique and you do a great cosplay then man oh man you know what thank you very much for allowing me to see it because you look great I appreciate an awesome Leonidas a awesome Aquaman um, I appreciate great cosplays. And if your cosplay, you know, just so happens to show a lot of uh, skin, then uh, mad props on working out and de dedicating your life to a healthy lifestyle. Nevertheless, there are ones who whose intention is to just be sexy this, sexy that. And I've talked about this before. Um, I'll reiterate it again. Cosplay is not Halloween. Cosplay is not where you can go and uh, you know body paint yourself green and wear purple shorts and put on like a, a, a white flat bill hat and you can be bro Hulk and you can bro out. Cosplay is not going to Party City and getting sexy nurse, sexy witch, Sexy football player, sexy cheerleader, sexy need I go on. No, I don't. Cosplay is not that. Uh, it's not about it's not about sexiness. Uh, it's about dedicating your time and effort into uh, creating an awesome uh, 
either interpretation or whatever of a costume of a, a character that you love so man when i saw uh because i you can tell the difference if you go to a convention and at megacon let me tell you there definitely were um genuine cosplayers and then there were the look at me look at me bro look at me skanky whatever and listen when i say bro i mean it derogatory you know derogatorily <laughs> First time I ever had to conjugate derogatorily. I yeah, I don't mean to, you know, if you're a bro, you're just you're being slutty, like when it comes to cosplay. So yeah, I I did not like, I didn't like it, and you could tell the difference, man. It was really it kind of ticked me off because all of these all of these um, photographers, all of these. Uh, videographers who go to these conventions look they look for bro um they look for i don't know like bro captain america they look for slutty harley they look for them because when they record them doing a little thing they get hits on youtube yeah i'm calling you guys out because uh you guys aren't doing anything really to promote the the community I mean, you guys are showing interpretations of costumes, but let's be real. Everyone is trying to go look at the Roxy girl or, you know, um, I don't know. I've never seen a slutty Wonder Woman, and I'm proud of that. I love Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is amazing. There's nothing slutty about Wonder Woman. She is an amazing character, very strong and uh, awesome for uh, uh, the female heroine genre. So yeah you guys um these kinds of people they just they're not doing any good uh the whole lot of them everybody everybody cosplay whether you're overweight or whatever that's what i believe i give like i don't i don't know your whole story i don't know if it's a glandular issue or not and you know what else even if it isn't a glandular issue i don't know if you're going through some hardships and you're emotionally eating and that's what sucks and I don't want that for you um, okay and things got real um, yeah so I guess I'll end the video that with with Megacon being cosplay con and um, I want to know your thoughts um, I really hope the video looks better because right now I'm looking at myself and I'm in shadows so I hope there is a lot of light. The lighting is a better situation. So uh, comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Two more people subscribed not too long ago. So I'm pretty happy about that. So my name is Gazy. I'm the host of the Outlet Podcast. Connect and recharge.